Oh, hey guys, welcome to another episode. Um, look at those all slimy banks. We just got our bait. Uh, had to throw the net probably a hundred times. Got about 40 baits, so I've come down and changed creeks and no wind over here, which is good. So I'm gonna find a little spot and tuck up here and hopefully go get a big barrow. I need a barrow over 80. It's been a, it's been a couple of months since I got one over 80. So uh, we'll hammer this for uh, over the low and see what happens. Woo! Yes! Big barrow. Is that not a fucking barrow? Can't believe it. Yeah. It's absolutely sharp. That was a big shark. Look at this. Oh, damn. This Portsmouth crab. Another good crab. Big muddies. Woo! Nice little red. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Something big here. Big one. Okay, nice pretty. First good blue bone. First little trout. The size of this one. Fuck yeah. Look at it. Look at that. Fucking sick. Woo! I don't know how good this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. All right, I'll show you how I rig up my, uh, like a running rig for barra for live baiting. From the beginning, obviously, you put your line through your rod. I'm just using that little Calcutta, it's got a little ratchet bait runner drag on it. I like to really, I'll show you my version of the bimity twist. Just grab your line, go around about 20 times. 20, 25, doesn't matter, just make sure you go the same way. I know it looks technical, but it's really not. Just put it in one toe, put it in the other toe. Grab both bits, pull them down, pull your feet out. And when you feel it get tight, just pull it down the other way and feed it all the way back on itself. My live bait bumping the, the camera there. And then I just do one granny knot there, one granny knot on the other side, and then one in the middle with both. So then you've got a doubled bit of leader to attach to your, uh, or your main line doubled up to attach to your leader. Cut all this chunder off, get rid of that. There you go, grab your leader, 60, 80 pound, I use fluorocarbon. Alright, make a loop in your leader, give yourself a bit, bit to, off the edge, there we go. Double, get your double, I'll just put it through. Now, I've been doing this knot for years and years and years and it never fails. Alright, twist it, I usually go about 14 times. Depends how thick your braid is. Thinner the braid, I put more on. So there we go, just keep feeding it over, feeding it over. There you go, push it down a bit. And then go back through the way it came in. Out, grab them both. Push it up. And you know if you haven't done it right, when you go to pull like that, it shouldn't pull through, you know you've done it the right way. If it pops off, it means you keep doing it in the wrong way, the wrong order. All right, now to do one granny. That's it. So that's your leader attached. Snip that off. Snip that off. I use a go about a meter. Cut it off. Sinker. I use a two or three for live boating. And the hook. It's through. 
Now I do this for everything. All hooks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 9, 10 I do back through. Then pull it under. Grab it with your tooth. I grab it with my tooth. Hold it. Get a bit of a go on it. Pull it up. Flat out. Pull it up. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Clip that off. There we are. This is a beautiful knot there. Bloody liveys keep hitting the camera. With your leader. Onto your double. Now I've had I've had Barra come up and hit that double with their uh, gill rakers and snap one, and then I've still caught the fish with the other one, so I wouldn't have caught those fish if I didn't have it doubled up there. All right, my version of a bimini twist and my leader knot, leader to braid knot, and my leader to hook knot. All right, I'm going fishing. Nice little blue nose. Over any of the snags there that seemed to have got me a fish. Salmon, woo! Fuck yeah! This could be the meter one, hopefully. Get me net.
that fish. I'll get the mat out. I don't know if it's going to go on me though. It's bloody close. Yes. Have a look at that. Just had him. Just hold him. In good health, only got him in just in the side of the jaw. He'll go in a minute. Yeah, he's ready. There he goes. Oh well, wasn't me metery, but 98. Close. All right, I'm gonna put another bait in. Oh well, my patience paid off. I was going to leave about 10 times and just kept st back across well, uh, if you like this episode don't forget to subscribe uh, subscribing is free just notifies you when my next video is up and uh, if you're not on my list and you won't be getting a link or anything like that so if you're interested in that give it a go and I've hit 400 now so slowly ticking over cheers Woo!